www.exteriagamer.com Welcome to ExperiaGamer.com. We've got a brand new video to show you the awesome new ice cream sandwich beta software from Sony, the official update running here on our Xperia Play. Now the actual update isn't going to be made available until later in uh, May, so this is exactly why we wanted to get a video to show you what's cool about this new software. So first of all, the few ice cream sandwich essentials, such as the mobile data usage. You can set your limit, you can set a warning sign, and of course set your uh, monthly bill system as well. It's a really handy tool to have, especially if you've got a fairly limited amount of data with your provider. And you can also measure the Wi-Fi too. So here I've got all of my applications that I've been downloading ready for this, uh, this video demo. And the whole setting system is slightly changed, so it's a much more slicker UI like you used to with the, the Honeycomb Android experience. As you can see, I've got a nice juicy memory card in my Xperia Play. Everything about Ice Cream Sandwich really is the kind of the layout, the experience, and just how it feels and looks. It's just so slick. I mean, little things such as adding the widgets on the screen. Looks pretty similar until now. Instead of just a big fat list, you've got a whole illustration of what the widget actually looks like. So you can browse through a nice carousel. It's nice and easy to use. And in fact, we'll just add one quickly onto the home screen so you can see what it looks like. And what people love more importantly is the whole task management system. So you just push and hold the home button and it'll bring up the selection of your tasks. And of course, you can just kill them by just sliding it to the side. Next is the music player. So it looks very similar to the gingerbread one that we used to, but the improvements lay in the notifications and the lock screen. So you can see from the normal notifications bar, I can actually change the tracks now as well. And of course, if I lock my Xperia Play, I can do it from the actual unlock screen as well. So for those of you who use the music player quite regularly, this is a massive improvement and a nice little touch. Then on some basic phone things. Now, uh, you probably weren't expecting me to big up the new phone dialer, but actually it's really easy to use. I don't have any contacts to demonstrate it properly, but as soon as you start typing your friend, contact, their number or name, it'll automatically produce a list of suggestions for that. It's very easy to use and a great improvement. While we're talking about the phone things, we're gonna talk about security with the new face unlock software. Now, unfortunately, I can't show it working properly, but I can at least show you how you access it and how you kind of start to set it up. Because unfortunately, in this, uh, in this beta software, Sony deactivated this because they didn't want us messing around with it too much. But that's how you set it up, and that's how cool it is. Although I have to confess, I don't quite want to see myself every five seconds when I'm using my phone in the day in, day out. That's your choice. So another big improvement is the internet browser. I'm just gonna go in here. Now it's just the look and feel of it. And as you can see here, going from pages to pages, it just looks incredibly nice. So much nicer than what it is on Gingerbread. And of course, loading up websites such as our, such as our own home. And of course, zoom in's a lot easier. Landscape, you can handle a lot more. Everything is just so much smoother with Ice Cream Sandwich, even internet browsing. Anyway, hopefully most of you know what our website looked like already. If you've not been to our website yet, please make sure you go and check it out. We've got some great stuff for everything Xperia Play. Now we're gonna move into the camera. So there's a few little improvements with the camera. Obviously, one of the things that Ice Cream Sandwich brings is a, is a much better UI layout, and of course, the uh, panoramic sweep as well. But one thing I did find is that inside the video mode, it also includes some great little uh, 
uh, fun features such as different face settings, which I'm just going to bring up now. Some silly faces things. So basically, these will just compress your friends as to what they look like. It's a cool little addition. And frankly, just the one gripe I always had with the Xperia Play, it could always do with any improvement on the camera side of things. So naturally we saved the best to last, the brand new Xperia Play launcher. This came as a bit of a surprise, because I mean, there's a lot to come on Ice Cream Sandwich as it is, but the fact that Sony have really gone to town with this and it looks brilliant. Massive fan, this is a, a great move by Sony. It gives it the kind of more PS3, PSP layout system to it. So of course, while we're messing around with Ice Cream Sandwich, we of course tried out a few games as well. So some of our favorite Android titles, such as, of course, Virtual Tennis, Grand Theft Auto, Modern Combat, Sonic the Hedgehog as well, just to name a few. We just wanted to see just how the uh, Xperia Play controls would continue to work even on Ice Cream Sandwich. And, and most of the time, it worked absolutely fine without any uh, tweaking. Although the analog controls on a couple of games were a little bit fun. But naturally, we, we are sure that Sony are going to continue working on this to make sure that this is perfect in time for the actual release when it comes out. Because I'm not sure how many of you know this, but that's one of the main features of, uh, of course, the Ice Cream Sandwich update, is the fact that games will now be able to be programmed for USB gamepads. And of course, the Xperia Play already has that gamepad. So we're hopefully going to see a huge improvement of game selection available. So we didn't just try out our latest and favorite Android titles on uh, the Ice Cream Sandwich update. We did try out a couple of uh, emulators and of course the uh, PlayStation certified experience too. So we, uh, we just wanted to see just how these would communicate with the gamepad on the new operating system as well. So here's Mupin 64 Plus, which is our favorite emulator because it was the first to introduce the analog touchpad. And as you can see here, it's working absolutely fine. So it's looking very hopeful for the ice cream sandwich update and compatibility in all games. And lastly, the PlayStation certified experience. So I'm playing Wipeout here, which is definitely my favorite PlayStation classic. Probably to do with many hours lost playing this game. And of course, the soundtrack is just absolutely awesome. So Xperia gamers, your patience will be rewarded. Everything seems to be on track. Everything seems to be running pretty well, minus a few little perfections needed. But uh, it's all looking good for the Ice Cream Sandwich update. And of course, there's a few cheeky little surprises in there as well. So Xperia Play has still got a long future ahead of it with all the new software, games, and of course with the uh, implementation of USB gamepad on the go. So we're going to finish up now guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, hope you like the look of the ice cream sandwich update and of course make sure you like this video, subscribe to us and of course make sure you check out our website www.experiogamer.com or of course our Twitter pages at Experiogamer. Make sure you come back soon and thanks for watching.